What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another XDL battle. Today we're facing off against Ashton Cox and I forget what the name of his team was. I forgot, it's really funny though. <laughs> it was a cool team name, but yeah. Um, I've had a very long week. I am I am definitely quitting this summer job and getting a different one, but yeah. Uh, sorry for the lack of content because of that. This is all very last minute once again because I just have no time for YouTube. But that should be getting fixed soon. I'm likely going to move back to my college town and get a different job and work on that. But enough of my personal life. We're about to face Ashton, and I'm bringing a hyper offense team. It's week two, and we're finally going to bring Colossal. You'd think that immediately you'd want to bring Colossal, or at least bring the threat of Colossal. But yeah, not much practice on my end. Uh, so I had my front office help me out because uh, I knew I was going to have a really busy week ahead of me, and they helped prepare this. I'll be going over what it is, hopefully before the video. This video is going to go up late because we're battling on Sunday night. Um, but as you can see, we have the Focus Sesh Sneasel. We have the Power Herb um, Cradley. We have Weakness Policy Colossal, White Herb Dracozolt, a Wakan Berry Talonflame, and a Life Orb uh, Verizion. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys enjoy this, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, because I try to bring you Pokemon content. I used to, uh, you, if you watch the channel, which you definitely have because you're subscribed, uh, I say, I usually say I bring you daily Pokemon content, but dang, that's been rough lately. <laughs> but yeah, you know, making that shmoney comes before making that shmokemon. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Uh, I'm a little tired too. I just got back from a weekend trip in Chicago. It was my uh, two year anniversary with my girlfriend, so. Ooh, okay. So let me send him a GLHF real quick. I guess after we do this, um, no, I'll send it now. But it looks like he's got Hitmontop, Latias, Regirock, uh, Celesteela, Kafagrigus, and Tentacruel. They definitely have a couple of options versus my Colossal lead. Um, makes me a little cautious about what I want to do here. I'm thinking, honestly, the, the Drake Azult Talonflame lead looks phenomenal. It really does. I think I want to go with that. There's a lot of options I have in that case. Um, in the back, I don't think a late game Colossal is too bad, especially with Sneasel as, as an option. However, um, I think Cradley might not be bad also. Cradley actually is able to wall a couple of things here on the special side, but I have to be really careful with that Celesteela. Hmm. Do I want Cradley? I guess if he goes Trick Room, it wouldn't be bad for dealing with the Regirock. And I think my last Mon, I have to pick kind of quick here. Uh, I could go with the Verizion. Eh, no, Verizion's kind of a bad pick. Uh, I think Colossal isn't terrible. I'll just go Verizion. I'll go Verizion. It's just a decent option versus the um, Wolf for one versus the Tentacruel. I can hit it decently hard because I'm a physical attacker. And also versus the um, the Regirock. Um, I kind of hardwall Regirock. Granted, it's not running any kind of coverage move that might actually hit Verizion, which it doesn't get much. Let me pull up my team again. I have the paste, but I completely forgot to keep it up. As they leave off with the Hitmontop and the uh, and the Latias, I'm kind of concerned. Does Latias get Trick Room? I mean, I have options here. Let me double check. Hold on, I'm going to click Bolt Beak Lily just because I want to double check I have Protect on this guy. I do have Protect on this guy, but I don't have Protect on this. Um, I definitely be careful with that. I think what I want to do here is getting Cradilly. I, I can actually get him Verizion to eat a hit. And I'll just go for the Protect. That's just safer. Um, I don't mind Verizion taking the hit. It's not the most important mod to my game plan right now. Obviously. Like, it was, it was, it was more of a last-second decision, so... Yeah, they're going to go ahead and Dynamax here. I'm assuming that's going to be the Latias. Uh, but for all I know, it could be like Technician Triple Axle hit him on top right now. Actually, did we see the Intimidate? I have to double check. I didn't see my wider go off, probably because I wasn't paying attention. And I'm juggling a lot of things on my screen right here. As I go for the Protect here, let's see if they fake out. They do go for the fake out, hoping to block that tailwind. Good play, good play. And they go for the max worm win. That's fine. So what I want to do here is just block a couple of turns of Dynamax. Just make sure that um, I can have, like, I can just stall out their turns pretty much. I want to stall out their turns to the point where I can actually do something. I think what I want to go for here 
is I could bounce to dodge a hit in Tailwind. And I actually don't feel uncomfortable doing that. I would like to just dodge something. Yeah, I'll Tailwind. Why not? I'll Tailwind. I'm likely going to lose the Virizion anyway, so it's it's whatever. Like, when it comes back down, obviously. It did take the hit pretty well, though. As I send in the Kafagurgus. Um, I do have Taunt, but... I have to hope I can actually hold on to my Town Flame here. I have Taunt on the on the Parisian too. Let me see if I dodge this. So if they're running like Mental Herb, I could double taunt. As they max Geyser, that's actually really cool. Okay. So. That is interesting tech to keep note of, especially for the Cradley. I think what I want to do here is ooh, I really want to discourage them from going for the move they want to go for. Do you think Bolt Beak it's Hustle so it's kind of inaccurate. I think I'm going to end up Dynamaxing Cradillion in this game because they're probably going to Trick Room on me. <laughs> this is really bad. Um, I mean I could max I'm going to go I'm going to go Drake as well. I think maybe late game non-Dynamax Cradillion is fine. I think I'm going to have to Dynamax here and try to prevent this trick room. Uh, do I do I bolt beak? Dang, this is actually really tough. I mean, I could worm wind and oko the Latias. I think I'm just going to stall at the trick room. I think I'm just going to go to Cradily here and try to eat the hit. I mean, if Rizion took it that well, Cradily should eat it relatively fine. So I'm just going to double out. And hope that they trick room. Because then Cradily can go kind of stupid. I'm obviously not playing perfect right now. Um, I'm like unfamiliar with my team and stuff. But I'm, I'm just doing my best this week until I actually have time to practice and stuff. There's the bounce. Watch me get the full para. Nah, okay. They Wormwind, that's fine. Let's see if they Trick Room. Let me see if I can get the Schmeteor Beam. Let me see if I can get this dank Schmeteor Beam. Also, it's storming. I really hope my power doesn't go out as they Trick Room. Nice. So, um, I do have Tailwind up, which is kind of annoying. I think I'm going to end up Dynamax in this Cradley. A Meteor Beam... Man, I'm actually not in the best spot, just because Cradley doesn't like taking these hits. I might just Meteor Beam here and hope I can eat the hit. And hold on to this guy. I could sub. I could sub, but it's mainly the concern of the Latias. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. They're both special attackers. I'm going to Quake this turn. I'm going to try to play it for the long game. <laughs> Freaking special defense boosting Dragazolt. This probably makes no sense, but I know I'm not going to get a KO anyways with like max rock ball, so I'm just going to do this. Try to make it so my Dragazolt can actually survive. And I'm going to have to play with non dynamax Dragazolt for the rest of the game. the body press. Wow, that does a lot of damage. I'm uncomfortable. I am uncomfortable. Okay. So. <laughs> so that's an issue. Hmm. There's the psychic. I'm not going to take too much from it, but still much more than I'm comfortable with, obviously. Hmm, three turns left to Trick Room. Dang, I kind of freaked it. Let me try this. This probably isn't going to work out. Uh, 
All right, we're gonna pretend like this game was 100% gaining info. I'm gonna pretend like that was all part of my master plan. It wasn't, obviously, but I'm gonna pretend like it was. All right. See the Draco? All right. So given the info we have now, I actually feel relatively okay bringing Colossal instead of Dragozolt on lead. Just because of inner focus Sneasel. And I believe I am Focus Sash, so I would be able to take a Mock Punch. Let me double check. I'm Focus Sash, right? Yeah, I'm Focus Sash. So Mock Punch wouldn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and forfeit here to preserve any info because they still don't know a single move on Dragozolt. And I think I'm going to end up going Colossal with, um, <laughs> Colossal with the Crit Illy. All right. Yep. Let me see if I can do any kind of adjustments here. We'll play with the same rules. Uh, I think my lead's going to be... Let me see here. Um, it's going to be Sneasel, Colossal. I'm definitely going to need Cradley in the back for that Surf since they teched that. And I think my last Mon... Hmm. I could just bring Verizion again as like a beat-up option. Yeah. I'm going to go Sneasel, Colossal here. Just go Crit Alley, Verizion. That's probably fine. Let's try that. Just going to lock it in. <laughs> okay. So assuming that they lead off with the um, the hit on top, obviously they can't fake out. It'd be in their best interest just to mock punch a couple of times. Um, I do have protect on the Sneasel too. So what I could do is protect and go hard into Cradilly. And that wouldn't be the worst. I have to refresh myself on Latias' speed tier. I think it's like 110, 115. It might, it might even be 120. Let me check. All right. So. Let me check something. I still have time, yeah. Cool. All right, cool. I'm faster than the Latia, so what I could do here... Oh, I don't have triple axle. I'm stupid. <laughs> I can just protect, and I'm going to go hard into Cradily. Yeah. Okay. And I'm assuming they calced to live this, so I should be eating a geyser here. Assuming that's what's about to go down. Oh my god, I just realized that you guys are looking at Showdown. I wonder how long that's been the case. I have not noticed. I feel so bad if that if it's been up for a while. <laughs> I don't think it has. I think it's only been a few minutes. There's the mock punch. Cool. I really hope that isn't the case. It's been up for a long time. Alright. So they're doing like nothing there. gonna hold on to you you're gonna be really important i'm gonna go into verizion here and i'm just gonna i could i could go verizion hmm what do you think because i'm gonna get mock punched i'm trying to think of a way to preserve this until the dynamax ends because i definitely need a max colossal if i want to win this because they're just gonna quake again is the issue I think I just stay in and go for Izion. Yeah, and I guess I just try to meteor beam this thing for damage. <laughs> I really hope you guys weren't looking at Showdown for a long time. I just opened up Showdown, so I doubt it. There's Wormwind. 
Okay, so they weren't going to quake, which is good news. Alright. And here what I think I want to do is just go Sneasel. And assuming that their play here would be to mock Punch and try to KO the Sneasel. Kind of want to get in the Colossal now. I could also... Mm, is it worth it to beat up? I could beat up an Airstream and that would do a lot, but... I think that might be my play. I'm going to go for the beat up. But I'm going to Airstream the hit on top to get rid of that. Because I shouldn't take too much from the, from the Latias. They could worm win me and stuff, but um, if I get the speed boost, it's going to be kind of huge. Yep, there it is. Luckily, I have the Sash. So I should hold on to my boy. And we're going to go for this beat up. Now, I do believe I'm at, like, minus one from a Wormwind or something. But this is still a significant attack boost. Let's see, they go for the Wormwind. Drop my attack stat, but that's fine, because we should KO this thing, which means I can just beat up again. If not, I just protect and or maybe I, I scout for faint or something, but I think we might just KO here. Yeah, yeah, we get another beat up. Which is huge. That's absolutely huge. I don't think they have psychic on this thing, because in previous games they haven't clicked it. Uh, it seems like they're just running coverage moves and like protect or something. There's the Kafagrigus. Now, I am concerned about Mental Herb, so I'm just going to go for a KO. I'm really convinced they have Mental Herb. What am I at? I believe I'm at plus one. I'm at plus one. I really hope this does enough. I think they have Mental Herb. That, that's my call there. I think they have Mental Herb. I could taunt, but I'm pretty sure. All right, let's see if this works out. I don't know if this KOs. It is Life Orb, and it is going to be plus five, so it's really, really strong, but still. This is a, this is a Kafagurgus. It, it takes physical hits like it's nothing. And I'm only going to get up to that much, because I did lose a Mon. Come on, it does KO. That's awesome. That's awesome. So that's good to know. Plus four will KO uh, Kafagurgus. Without a crit, obviously. As they, go for the they do have Psychic. It shouldn't do too much, though. That's good to know. It's good knowledge. And now I think I'm in a winning position. I just have to not choke. Which is, uh, if you know, the choking is kind of the Moxie boosted special. Alright. What's the last Mon? Regirock. Okay. So, likelihood of Regirock being able to KO me is like zero. So, I'm going to go ahead and 
deal with this Latias. Maybe that's my play? I think that's always my play. Let's just deal with the Latias. Um, yeah, Reginald Rockford probably isn't my main concern. I guess my best chance of KOing would literally just be with an Airstream. And uh, we'll beat up again. Critical hit, that kind of sucked. <laughs> Watch it actually put me in range now. That that would be kind of that'd be kind of crappy. I mean, I resist everything that the Regirock really wants to throw out. And I want to deal with Latias specifically because we know it has Surf, so that would be a big issue for uh, Colossal in the back. Alright, let's see if I die. Rock slide, that's fine. We avoid, but it wouldn't have mattered anyways. So that's probably game unless they're sturdy. Which these these things tend to be clear body, so I'm I'm pretty pretty iffy on it being sturdy. Let's go ahead and bring in the boy. And I really hope they're not sturdy, because then I actually have to reveal uh, Earth Power. Going to Leaf Blade Earth Power here. I could protect, but I'm not going to risk it because then, you know, I don't know. It's just scary. Okay. <laughs> they actually let me preserve some info there. All right. So we take game two. I think I'm just going to do the exact same thing, to be honest. Just the exact same thing. But um, having the option of bringing Dynamax Colossal is actually really big. All right. Um, yeah, let's just begin. Let's just begin. All right. Let's see what I can do. Let's go uh, Sneasel Cole on lead again. Vrizion, Cradley. Seems to be a very good combo. And I'm, I kind of want to play some mind games. I kind of want to hope that maybe, maybe Ashton's going to overpredict. But it's, it's very difficult to make that play. It's a very scary play to make. I could have alternatively let off with um, Sneasel Verizion just to put on that pressure. But I like the Sneasel Cole lead. I think given his best answer to Cole is pretty much Surf on the uh, on the Latias, it's, it's, not, it's not bad, you know? Especially when he can't really click it for free. Yeah, Ashton isn't really allowed to click Surf turn one. <laughs> it's kind of too scary. I believe last game he Earth Powered, so. Him on top, Latias. Okay. Sneeze with Colossal. Hmm. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Turn one play. Turn one play. This is going to be it. This is going to be the play. This is the play. You might think, Marcos, what is this play? This is the play. That's the only way to describe it. This is the play. Am I going to Dynamax? Who knows? Who knows? They're going to Dynamax. Are they going to Earth Power? I'd very much like it if they Earth Powered and like Mach Punched. Or even if they doubled into Sneasel, I wouldn't complain. Because I should still always get this off. And then I have a lot of pressure. Oh, it looks like they doubled. I think they doubled. So if they didn't double, um, 
logic would dictate they earth powered here. And I should take a max psychic if I'm dynamaxed, I think. Just because of how bulky Verizion is. So I'm tempted. I'm tempted to switch out my Sneasel for Cradley here. And then just max Airstream. And just keep the Sneasel. But if they did double, I'm in a really good position anyway, so. Let's see. As they max Geyser. Awesome. I take like nothing from that. I'm in a really, really good spot. Also, if you can't hear the lightning outside, that's uh, really appropriate given the, the <laughs> given the move they just clicked. All right, let me hold on to Sneasel. It might be good later on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go Cradley here because Cradley seems very eh. Seems very eh in the matchup. Let me airstream into the Hitmon top. They're likely just gonna Wormwind, but I still have a lot of damage output here. They might Wormwind to try to preserve something coming in, but. They could also just try to max Psychic and KO me, but I don't think that's going to happen. Regirock? Celesteela, that's fine. This is resisted, but it's still a pretty strong hit. So they Wormwind into the Cradley. Awesome. So next turn, what I can do is I can actually max Knuckle, and I kind of, I kind of want to Meteor Beam this, uh, this Celesteela. Yeah, it's in range of max Knuckle plus Meteor Beam for sure. If not just max Knuckle, considering that's a resisted hit right there and non-stab. We're going to go for it. Check this out. I have a speed boost. I wonder if that's enough. It's probably not. Let me max Knuckle here. Like I said, Cradley is not really important to the game. It's just sort of an option. As they withdraw. Kafagurgus? Yeah, that was really good. That was a really good play, but they're still going to take a lot of damage. Um, next turn, regardless, I'm going to just go ahead and target this... Um, Latias. All right, I can go Sneasel here. And we already know nothing really takes this hit, so I'm just going to go ahead and... <laughs> Remember last game when I was like, oh, I don't know if they have Mental Herb or not. I don't want to risk it. Uh, this is still safe. The the beat up play is still safe because of that. And they have no switch ins. Like, Celesteela doesn't take this hit at that point. It's all overgrowth. Because you saw how much it took, right? It, it did not enjoy that hit. It did not. As they withdraw, probably Celesteela. Probably Celesteela. It's not going to take it very well. All right. As I go for another beat up. Just get that attack stat nice and high. Alright, there's the Bulldoze. Actually, very cool tech, because now I don't outspeed. But they still won't like this. They still won't like this. Let me think. What was that Bulldoze for? What's the weakness policy on? Regirock. That's what it is. Alright, I may have freaked it. There's a... 20% chance that I freaked it. 
I believe Meteor Beam does more than Overheat at this point. <laughs> but I still have to try. Because uh, they're probably just going to Bulldoze. Out, and they may, they may also Surf. That's my main concern. Because if they Surf me, I lose my Colossal. But if they Bulldoze, I have a chance. I'm going to make this play. I'm going to make this play. Don't bulldoze. Because they could bulldoze Air Slash and then I might lose my Verizion. Psychic, I should live that. Just barely. I'm going to lose my... <laughs> I'm going to lose my Verizion in exchange, though. Alright. Let's see what they go for. Probably Meteor Beam, to be honest. Heavy Slam. Okay. So it's Stall Celestila. Um, I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this. I have to prioritize really, really well, though. Heavy Slam doesn't do too much. Wait, what else did they have? Uh, let me think. Hitmontop, Celesteela, Kafagrigus. Uh, Let me... I can't protect here. I could overheat. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the Hitmontop set. If it's, like, not running close combat, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> You just overheat the Hitmontop at plus two. As they fake out. Yeah, I figured. And they sub. Oh no, beginning of the end. Beginning of the end right here. I'm just going to need them to like miss every Leech Seed for me. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll just plus two overheat this Hitmontop. Assuming I get Mach Punched or something. Dang, could have meter beamed. There's the leech seed, and I mean, normally here I just forfeit, but that isn't really an option I have considering the draft league. Like you can, we've established this uh, in the rules earlier. Like you can forfeit like game one and two to preserve info, and I got a crit. However, when it comes to like the end game, like the final game, it's it's more for the data collection that you like shouldn't forfeit it. So hopefully I get knocked out quick somehow. I guess I'll just Meteor Beam this thing. There's the Heavy Slam. Yeah, it doesn't do too much. And the Shadow Ball. Okay, good. This should be ending in a minute. And they were not the item I thought they were. Huh. Okay. So that's unfortunate. I actually had a better play I could have made then. But I still stand by my beat-up play, thinking that that was smart. Um, had I known that they weren't, I would have literally just clicked Taunt. And gone for Airstream into Latias. So that might have won me the game. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Life or Kafka Gurga is kind of interesting. Let's see if I can pick up one KO before this game ends. Colossal gets KO. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> so a pretty close game. Pretty close game between me and Ashton. For a, for a prep that lasted all of 20 minutes and me not knowing the team when I showed up, I feel pretty good about this. And that's not to undermine... I don't want to sound like I'm like undermining Ashton. Like He's a great player, obviously, and he completely outplayed me. But on my end, I feel pretty good about how good I did. <laughs> Considering I like just showed up, made the team, and said, Okay, ready. So I'm, I'm just happy about that in, in mine. But Ashton completely outplayed me. So Phenomenal plays by him. Uh, the, the double switch. Uh, I wish I called that, obviously. And I think that had I gotten the taunt play correct there and not assumed that it was a uh, mental herb, I think we had a chance. So yeah, 
I had a great time playing. Uh, be sure to sub to Ashton, of course. He's a great content creator and a really cool dude. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.